It's April the 9th, 2013. We're in Tulare County looking at some Thompson seedless grapes. These are grown for juice. Uh, this variety can also be grown for raisin. What I was wanting to show you was that this variety is also looking like a really good crop this year. We're hearing really good reports from growers that preliminarily uh, we're setting up for a very good sized crop. Uh, this is exciting. Raisin price is up, juice price is up, demand is up. Could be very good. Uh, these grapes are getting ready to receive a fertigation application of ultra gross soil treatment and Cal 9. This is a heavier soil type and it needs the calcium for sodium management as well as improving water penetration. We've got a calcium magnesium imbalance and that helps to remedy that. In addition to that, any extra calcium that we put on after amending the soil in that root zone through the drip will go right into the crop making these bunches heavier. And bottom line is when you're growing grapes, when you're growing raisins, uh, when you're growing for juice, it's about tonnage. You got to make bricks. Sugar weighs heavier than water. And so this looks real good. I want to share that with you. Uh, if your vineyard is looking like it's got a heavy crop load as well, make sure you've got a good fertility program placed uh, so that you don't have any guesswork. You want to be very proactive this year and make sure you got everything addressed because this is a good year to be profitable if you've got a good fertility plan in place. Anyway, thanks for watching. I wanted to share that with you.